Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Governors scrambling for ventilators as they brace up for coronavirus. Nigerian governors are scrambling, for, scrambling to buy ventilators as they brace up for the outbreak of coronavirus in their respective states. Don't forget, a health expert also says ventilators were not crucially needed in Nigeria before the outbreak of coronavirus. Hence, they did not encourage the state governors to equip their health sector with their commissioner for health. Now, they are all scrambling to buy ventilators to brace up and to prepare for the outbreak of coronavirus in their respective states. You can see the governors in the pictures all trying ventilators and wants to even get them personally for their own personal use. I tell you, Nigerian politicians are very selfish. These ventilators they are, they are scrambling for now and try to even have and put in their city room as a decoration. It's supposed to be in the hospital. They will not make it available to the, for, for, to the dear public who pay taxes. Yes, yeah, they can get their fat salaries. And the people whose lands who are indigenous of lands where oil we are, we are, we are found or being, 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 being drilled every now and again, every second as we speak under their houses. Yet, they will not equip these people and make their life better. Did you hear what happened today as we are speaking in, those, in, in, in Ondo State? There's, there's been an, out, an outburst, an explosion. We have houses, over a hundred houses, churches, schools, um, you know, businesses ar around that area sunk down and were destroyed as a result of the massive explosion on the ground. These are some of the things done by our government, government, gov government by not putting things properly, de de decently in order, in place as they should. The use of this um, breeding aid is essential because what the coronavirus does is that it, use, it, it collapses the lungs and the ventilators are critically needed to help the patient to breathe. As we know that if you don't breathe, you lose air and eventually death. Now, these governors, instead of them equipping the hospitals and making the life of the people better, what they are doing now is that they are clamoring for ventilators for their self-use, as you can see in the picture. They are not equipping, adequately equipping the, the, the hospitals, you know, the health sector centers, making sure that when the Nigerian public and people get infected or any such thing happen, that they are prepared, you know, that the Nigerian people are prepared to make sure that lives do not, needless life that should not die, should not die in the process. All they need is the, is the, you know, the, the presence of this ventilator and some other critical medical attention to make sure that they overcome it, especially the young ones. There have been shortages of these ventilators with government all over the world seeking to acquire more. But Nigeria in particular is overwhelmed because we don't even have in our health and in our hospitals. According to the Punch report, Nigeria has less than 500 ventilators in the whole of the country. One of the country's shortest for ventilator presence in their hospital. The New York Times, New York alone has over 11,000 to prepare for the needs of ventilators in their states. Governors are at the last minute now clamoring for the few that can be gotten. Two marketers who deals in health care sales told Punch that they have received calls from several governors looking for looking forward to order ventilators. I'm getting a lot of orders from different governors for ventilators. Unfortunately, I am out of stock, says an independent marketer who wishes to remain anonymous for the report and his relationship with government. Delta State Governor Dr. Ifan Yokowa recently revealed that he had acquired 19 ventilators in preparation for an outbreak of the COVID-19 in his state. We had it at the 19. The day or the, the, day or the local government area now. Or, or six day your house for you, your wife and your children and your gates man. Let's call it spade a spade. -o. We continue. COVID-19 is a respiratory virus. This is why it is 
peculiarly and it's a preventive measure to have the ventilator, especially for the first 72 hours. Delta State Governor has said he has acquired 19 new ventilators and good number of monitors to make sure that the health staff are prepared in eventuality of an outbreak. In a resp the respiratory disease, you know, uh, has, a, has a window of at least one to two weeks before it starts manifesting in an individual, depending on the individual state of health. For another marketer who spoke to Ross, last minute rush for these governors as they are all calling and asking for ventilators. Unfortunately, nobody knows that ventilators will be greatly needed and I'm out. I wish I had more. It should have been a good time to make a good market sales. This ventilator request at the last minute is not what should be. Long before this outbreak of coronavirus, I have lots of meetings with governors and their commissioner of health, offering to sell them ventilators and to tell them the importance of ventilators in case anyone is failing for breath and needs to be resuscitated. They just listened and some of them did not even pay attention or come into the meeting. I have to explain the need for this machine to several governors, but still, they did not buy, and even the ones that bought, bought a few, one or two. Now, they are all calling to order as much as possible. Unfortunately, we don't have. Sometimes, you have to chase a governor for six to ten months to get an audience and to market this product of ventilators, but to no avail. If they manage to attend, they will send a representative, and even the Commissioner of Health of the state hardly is present, as the governor himself does not even oh God, attend the meeting. However, healthcare experts said they do not blame the governors for not buying lots of ventilators before the outbreak of coronavirus. As according to Dr. Olukoya, one of the top health maintenance organizations in Nigeria, ventilators are not machines that are critically needed, for, he said, before the outbreak of coronavirus. Our disease is born in Nigeria is not, uh, is not one to do with uh, ventilators as we don't have a lot of respiratory diseases in, in Africa as well as Nigeria. It would, have been, it would have solved a lot of problems if the Minister of Health has considered and have seen it important at the time when we were clamoring and crying for them to buy and to patronize us in Nigeria. What he said then was that we have diseases like malaria, tuberculosis, and most of these diseases do not really need a ventilator for the patient to stay alive. But however, as it is now, it has turned out to be different. Because Who Know Tomorrow is a song that is popularly sung. You know no tomorrow, you know no tomorrow. You know, it's a song. You only know now, you only know where you are standing, you only know what is happening to you. But you don't know tomorrow, and as such, Apart from them marketing their products, it is important that every facilities that the health sector needs to be in adequate preparation for eventuality, even if it is not greatly needed now, it's important that these things are in place. You could hear the sellers saying that they have called on the state governors and governments time and time again, pleading with them, booking meetings. At times, you have to chase them for months you know, asking for just meetings with these governors to, to have a, to just have uh, this audience and to market this product to them and to tell them how, re how important respiratory disease, uh, you know, the effect it has on the population. But to no avail, now they are all calling repeatedly. You know, the, more, more than one seller in our, in our news, as you could hear, are the ones calling out and saying, oh, go the governor's are calling us now and asking. Unfortunately, we don't have them in stock as we seem not to be patronized. You know, it's not something you will stock up. It's, you use money to stock up these things. And guess what? They are they are business people. They will not uh, use their money to stock up a product. They are not uh, actually sure if it will sell or anything of such. Now, all of them, they are crying for it, clamoring for it. Well, I want to say here, I wish the Delta State Governor, who you heard in the news saying that he has, uh, he has been able to acquire 19, did not acquire 19, one by his best side, the other one by his wife's best side, or the other ones by his children's best side. I hope they've been placed in the hospitals where they will be needed and used for the general public, the Nigerian population, who will need this if there is an eventuality of corona outbreak.
you know. So these are some of the things we are talking about. The government of Nigeria will not put things in order. They will not make sure that things are done decently and in order. How come it's our country that does not have basic facilities when other nations, other people are prepared? I'm not saying that uh, their preparedness have exempted them. I mean, this is a pandemic claim, you know, ravaging the whole world. It's not just a peculiar to Nigeria. But most of this problem and situation would have been solved if Nigeria Nigerian governors and presidents and everybody was adequately prepared. You know, see, now the matter with the rich us be this, so say some every governor now they call to say, I will beg, you get this thing, you get this thing. Because even in, even in the internet, they cannot order from abroad. Why? Abroad now they need their own to save their own people. So nobody won't even sell. You know, our own fellow market people here, they don't go patronize them. Now the matter with the rich us be this, so. Um, Please uh, not forget to thumbs up for your girl. Subscribe if you never subscribe. God bless you. Have a good day. Please do care health con be health conscious and keep safe. Bye.